Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And we have potential tropical cyclone 16, which is likely to become a tropical storm on Friday. Uh, we've got tropical storm warnings from North Carolina to Maryland, and there will be some impacts to areas along the coast further north up to southern New England. So we're going to talk about all of this coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, and that is at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Might be a good idea to see if you got all your uh, stuff handy just in case the system were to do something uh, like move northward. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. And Tempest by Weatherflow. Get the revolutionary Tempest weather system. Join the fastest growing observing weather network on the planet. The referral link is on the descriptor to this video. And use the coupon code I want a weather station. And for a limited time, you will get $40 off your purchase. So uh, we are, of course, dealing with, as we've been talking about for the last couple of days, we've been dealing with uh, the possibility that we could see a uh, tropical storm develop. Let me just get this out of the way here and get the maps up for you. Uh, there we go, finally. So here it is. This is what it looks like on the satellite loop. And there's a couple of things that I, I want to point out here that are, gonna, are going to be important in terms of understanding how this is all going to play out and what the implications are for areas up the coast, uh, say, from Delaware northeastward to southeastern New England. First off, uh, looking at this loop, if you look closely, I'm going to draw a circle around it, there actually already is a small low-level swirl. That is the low center that is developing. Uh, you'll also notice that there's quite a bit of cloud cover and some convection in this large area north and east of the center. Uh, there is a frontal boundary through all of this. And uh, this distinctly looks like a cold core system at the moment. However, what often happens when conditions are uh, just right, and in this particular situation it seems to be the case, uh, the uh, system will gradually warm. It's a cold core system. It's sitting over ocean water temperatures that are uh, running uh, in the low and even in a few spots, uh, the middle 80s. And uh, also uh, you have uh, the fact that the Gulf Stream is waiting to the northwest of this and it is going to be going over the Gulf Stream slowly as it tracks to the north north, and then northwestward. So everything here to me points to the fact that this is going to become a tropical cyclone. However, uh, the non-tropical nature of this makes it may make the forecasting and the communicating communication of that forecast a bit confusing. So I'm just going to run through the new GFS and show you what happens here. And you can see by tomorrow morning, uh, we have a fairly well-developed low uh, that is sitting uh, southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, thunderstorms and heavy rains are on the north side. You're beginning to see convection uh, blow up on the so south side. So what's going to happen is that this low, as it gradually becomes warm core, is going to separate itself from the frontal boundary. The frontal boundary itself, or what remains of it, is going to be pushing rain northward up the coast. And this is what is going to be moving uh, through New Jersey, uh, Long Island, the lower Hudson Valley, uh, Connecticut, southern Connecticut, and southeastern Massachusetts. And you see it there. The, the GFS has got this area of heavy rain that you see in the yellow. That goes up uh, and, and starts to turn to the east. Now, I'm not sure whether that's going to be the case or not. But the tropical cyclone remains almost, uh, a, a, it's distinct. It, it's separated from that lead area of, of the frontal boundary moving northward. So as the cyclone approaches the North Carolina coast, which it will do Saturday morning. You see it here sitting off the North Carolina coast, and they'll probably be experiencing tropical storm conditions uh, in uh, southeastern Virginia, eastern North Carolina, uh, with the uh, winds, uh, with, with winds probably 50 or 60 miles an hour, certainly in gusts. But uh, there will be wind going on further north, and this is because of the fact that uh, you're going to have the interaction of that, that old boundary 
with the high that's to the northeast south of Nova Scotia. So uh, this is going to probably have gales that are going to extend far north of where the actual center of the storm is. So uh, just bear that in mind because I think it's going to be confusing to folks if they're going to hear where the tropical storm warnings are and wonder why there aren't tropical storm warnings going all the way up the coast and said they have, they'll have gale warnings where they're treating that part of it as a non-tropical uh, situation and then the tropicals the area that's experiencing the tropical storm uh, with the with the actual center crossing land uh, as a totally distinct area bottom line is that we are going to see weather conditions deteriorate as we go into the into the weekend uh, probably clouds increasing later tomorrow into tomorrow night. Uh, rain spreads up the coast. It remains to be seen whether that really heavy rain gets into uh, areas from, say, northern New Jersey or northeastern New Jersey. Uh, I think it will get into southeastern New England, uh, maybe over, over Long Island. We'll have to see as we get closer, uh, see how the short-range models handle this. And as far as the tropical system is concerned, it looks like it will move northward. And then as it weakens while it's inland, it's going to take a couple of days for this to get out of the way. So we may still have, we'll get this shot of rain into Saturday afternoon. It moves out a bit of a break and then probably more rain coming in during the day Sunday as whatever is left with this system begins to translate slowly, and I do mean very slowly to the east. We're looking at Monday right now on the screen, and you're still seeing rain from southeastern New England back to eastern Pennsylvania. And even on Tuesday, still see some lingering rain until this whole boundary can get out of the way. And then maybe weather conditions could start improving along about the middle part of next week. It's uh, going to be a uh, complicated mess, no doubt as we uh, move along. So let me just run through you real quick what the Hurricane Center is doing with this. And uh, we are seeing that as of uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time on uh, this Thursday, uh, we have tropical storm warnings for much of the North Carolina coast, southeastern Virginia into Chesapeake Bay and the Delmarva Peninsula, right about to the Delaware, Maryland state line. Uh, the forecast is for this system to gradually transition into a subtropical cyclone between now and tomorrow morning and then into a tropical cyclone by tomorrow afternoon as it runs northwestward, makes landfall somewhere, I would say, northeast of Wilmington, southwest of Hatteras, North Carolina, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, then into southeastern Virginia by Saturday evening, weakening as it moves on up to the northeast so at, at uh, 11 a.m from the hurricane center potential tropical cyclone 16 at 28.7 north 75.9 west top winds are 35 miles an hour moving uh, to the north at nine miles an hour and uh, just a, a real quick view we are only getting the beginnings of some of the uh, hurricane tracking models uh, that that are used. And I just want to show you the intensity guidance here, which has a handful of models uh, showing up. Uh, one that actually takes it to a minimal hurricane before it makes landfall in North Carolina. The others all have it as a tropical storm of some sort. I think there is an outside chance that this could get uh, to be a high-end tropical storm or might even get to a minimal hurricane before it makes landfall. It's got plenty of time. It's got a good 48 hours plus before it, it it's going to move into North Carolina and uh, it is going to be moving over very warm water as it uh, passes over the Gulf Stream off the uh, North Carolina coast so we've got uh, quite a bit to talk about tonight folks and we're going to do that on the Joe and Joe weather show that's at 7:35 p.m. Eastern time so mark it down and we hope to see you then